Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the roles of biotechnology and genetic modification in helping to meet the food needs of the growing human population. And this includes golden rice and the use of the fungus fusarium. And this is for triple biology students only. Now we've already looked at biotechnology in the video on genetic engineering. We saw that the gene for human insulin has been transferred into bacteria. These bacteria are now genetically modified and produce human insulin. The insulin can be harvested and purified and then used to treat people with diabetes. Now genetic modification can also be used on crops and these GM crops could be used to produce more food. GM crops can also have improved nutritional value and I'm showing you a good example here. Billions of people around the world depend on rice as a staple food. And many of these people are deficient in vitamin A. Vitamin A is needed for effective vision. Every year around half a million people go blind due to lack of vitamin A. Now the body makes vitamin A from molecules found in food. Unfortunately natural rice does not contain any of the molecules that the body needs to make vitamin A. However rice has now been genetically modified to contain these molecules. This is called golden rice and we can see this on the right. By providing the molecules needed to make vitamin A, golden rice could prevent hundreds of thousands of cases of blindness every year. Now as well as genetically modified crops, there are other examples of biotechnology being used in the food industry. And one example is the use of microorganisms. I'm showing you an example here, this is called mycoprotein. Mycoproteins produced by the microorganism Fusarium, which is a fungus. Fusarium is grown on glucose syrup in a fermenter. In aerobic conditions, the fungus converts the glucose syrup into mycoprotein. And this biomass is harvested and purified before being made into products. Now, there are two main advantages to mycoprotein. Firstly, mycoprotein is suitable for vegetarians. Secondly, we can grow very large amounts of mycoprotein in a relatively small amount of space. This makes mycoprotein a very efficient protein source. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the role of biotechnology in food production in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.